since talking about Wikipedia, few people have asked me about copyright. Let me explain the fundamentals of copyright. First off, copyright is written into the U.S. Constitution. In Article 1, Section 8, the creator of certain kinds of works is given exclusive rights over, the, over that use. They're given control, like a monopoly, on how that particular work can be used. Those rights include the following. Copying the work, making derivatives of the work, distributing the work, also controlling how it's performed in public or displayed in public. These are all the exclusive rights of the person who holds the copyright of a work. So what kinds of things are protected by copyright? Movies, stories, poems, music, dance moves, any kind of pictures, artwork, architecture, and software. All of these are considered to be creative works, and creative works are uh, protected by copyright. If it's a fact or an invention or something like that, it is not protected by copyright. It might be covered by patent, but not by copyright. And a copyright lasts for a certain amount of time, depending on when the work was created. It can last up to 70 years after the creator's death. That's what it is currently. After that, the work goes into the public domain. Currently, anything created before 1923 is in the public domain. That means all of these rights have expired and anyone can use the work in any way they want. If I take an old book like Moby Dick, published in 1851, well before 1923, since this is in the public domain, I do not have to ask permission to create a derivative work. A derivative would be something based on the book, like a movie. And I, ha I know I owe nothing to the creator of the work because it's in the public domain. Now, how do I identify a copyrighted work? At one time, it had to have this copyright symbol on it, but that has not been required for more than 25 years. So if you'll see a book, uh, a movie, a song, any kind of artwork, you should assume it's protected by copyright if it was created after 1923 and all of those exclusive rights apply. So you might ask, what about fair use? Fair use is a little bit complicated, so I'll talk about it tomorrow.